Hey YouTube, this is a review of the Yeti Rambler in the one gallon size. Now I did just get this a little over a week ago and I usually don't do a new product review, well new to me, uh, until I actually have it for some time just so I can put it through its paces and have it for a certain amount of time before I just do an instant review the day I get it. I I know people like to do unboxing and like to see that kind of stuff, but I want to see if a quality product really holds up to his name and the price tag that they usually come with. So, but this is a Yeti Rambler and it's supposed to keep things hot or cold. And the quality, obviously, uh, they have built that reputation and having used Yeti products for several years now, uh, I know that the craftsmanship is there as well as the warranties. So what I did was I filled this right here in my kitchen uh, on a Sunday at 3 p.m. I put about ice, uh, maybe about just uh, one-tenth of the way full of ice, and then filled it with water out of the fridge. So it's not super cold. You know, it's the one that comes out of the refrigerator door. So it's not chilled. It's not it's about lukewarm uh, let's say about 65 degrees so Sunday 3 p.m. filled it put it immediately in my car I I drove out uh, for work and I did not touch it until I got back I came back Friday and almost at about 3.30 p.m., I came back, and that's the first time that I opened this, and I poured water out, and I measured the temperature. And after all the time, the ice did melt, but it was still lukewarm, and right there, about 65 degrees. So, pretty amazing. Uh, it sat in my car. My car sat outdoors all day. We had temperature, ambient temperatures were low of 70, high of 97, maybe one day 99. And it just sat in the back seat of my car the entire time. Night and day, the car was never covered. It was always parked outdoors. So I, I, think, it, I think it did its job pretty well. So here's the relative size of it, you see. almost to the, the top of the cap. It's just at 12 inches there. So solid, it's all stainless steel hardware, nice rubber bushings everywhere. And uh, of course this area is a, it's a pretty strong magnetic cap. Uh, great design, right? Because you take this little cap off and in the course of hiking and camping and what have you, uh, you take it off, you forget it or somewhere, and it falls away, it gets in the dirt. But this, I mean, pretty firm. So, you try to put it on the other way, and it won't. So, it even pushes it off. So, first thing I did was, at the store, I took this lid off, and almost used my fingers as like you would uh, as like calipers and just try to gauge the thickness of the insulation that's what I try to do that's why the Yeti coolers work so well because you notice that when you open it up you have three inches of of insulation so same thing on a thermos just try to gauge the thickness of it uh, maybe about a quarter of an inch so it is quite heavy uh, this is something you're not going to take backpacking uh, this is something as I use as my backup water for after, you know, for car camping or uh, I took it on a ticket hiking uh, the first day I got it and I just left it in the car. And I, I had water in my backpack and this I had nice cool water waiting for me when I got back. So there's the lid, very, very sturdy, I'm very heavy at that just because this is solid, solid steel. And once you actually fill this up all the way with a gallon of water, uh, you're looking at about 10 pounds here. So, you know, uh, maybe you want to carry for a short hike or something, but just keep that in mind.
Oh, there's the inside. Uh, have some herbal tea in there. So, yeah, pretty happy with it. Uh, like I said, it's just meant for, I'm, I'll, I'll use it for car camping and uh, at the end of the day or, you know, after the playground with the family, then we have a backup water. So, uh, once again, you know, the things that I see that most thermoses fail is, the, is are the lid designs, even on like the small Yeti cups, right? It's what I, what drew me to Yeti was that Max lighter and the other hot shots where it comes off so easily and you can clean it very well. So yeah, this uh, very, very solid, thick lid is not going to let uh, hot or cold uh, heat escape into the elements. So yeah, pretty happy with it, but just wanted to share that test. Yeah, had it for five days, uh, almost full five days. Like I said, Sunday, 3 p.m., Friday, 3 p.m., and still had you know fairly room temperature water uh, even being out in the elements that entire time so uh, of course you can do things like pre-chilling you can keep it open and throw throw both of these components like this as it's open into your into the freezer or into the fridge for about a day before you fill it and or fill it with water and then just stick it with the open lid into the fridge for a day before you take it out and so it's kind of pre-chilling it'll help it last a little bit longer uh, so yeah uh, that, that's about it uh, hope you guys like it and oh the price uh, they're about I think it was about $130 they on the site they offer it in a stainless blue and black uh, but the stainless will obviously help reflect uh, the most amount of heat uh, when the sun is directly reflecting on it as well. So, oh, you know what? I'll do the pour test. You know, I'll do, because I thought the first time I filled the cup, this thing was going to pour water all over the place because it's a fairly large hole and there's a lot of water behind it. But... Yeti engineers have designed it where it actually just slowly chugs out because obviously water has to escape. Water's coming out, but the air also has to uh, come in to let it escape as well. And so I thought I, I filled up the same cup the first time, and I was I was pretty surprised that how well it did. So so. Yep, came out fairly slow. Like I said, there's a half gallon of water in this thing right now. And compared to if you guys have bought a one gallon, one of those plastic uh, jugs from the supermarket, and if you try pouring that into a little cup, uh, well, you obviously know that the flow rate comes out uh, much faster. And this, they designed it to just come out at a more controlled rate, even with this quantity of water coming through. A uh, smaller hole, but works out great. So hope you guys like uh, the video So if you do yeah, please like subscribe. Thank you. Bye